In modern warfare, many conflicts are taking place in urban environments. City streets have become the new front line, with no shortage of places where the enemy can hide and take cover. If you want to stand a chance, you need flexibility and a lot of muscle. This beast is the Mark 19 40 millimeter grenade machine gun currently used by the U.S. Army. It weighs 140 pounds. That's a lot of weight to carry around in the field. And there's a lot of recoil with this one. That's why you got the sandbags to keep it in place. It's a big, heavy beast that needs two soldiers to operate. It fires 40 millimeter high explosive grenades with the power to knock down a wall from more than two kilometers away. It's had an excellent combat record since it was first introduced in the 60s and has seen practically every conflict since. But times are changing. Now there's a new weapon set to replace the Mark 19, and I've come to Burlington, Vermont to check it out. Meet the XM307. It's still a two-man operation, but in almost every other way, it's a vast improvement on its predecessor. Well, basically what we're trying to achieve with the XM307 is a weapon that's lightweight, low recoil, highly reliable, very accurate. It claims to have an ultra-low recoil, so I'm going to do a quick comparison test with the Mark 19. Giving me a refresher is weapons technician, Frank Hans. Place the weapon on fire. The weapon is on fire now. Charge the weapon. Charging the weapon. With the old Mark 19, to find the target, you need to get right down to the sights. But I have to be careful to keep my head back, because this beast kicks like a mule. The Mark 19 has a rapid rate of fire of 400 rounds a minute. That's a lot of firepower. But there is a lot of recoil, and it weighs a ton. So carrying this bad boy around, that's got to be a pain. It's the XM307's turn, and it's so steady, it doesn't even need sandbags to keep it in position. They say there's such little recoil from the XM307 that you could actually fire it with a cup of water right on top. You know me, I always like to test that stuff out just to see for myself. So we're gonna throw one round down range here, see what happens. That's pretty impressive. And that minimal recoil means the XM307 can be made a whole lot lighter, too. Good news for the guys who have to carry it. Using modern materials, they've cut its weight to a mere 50 pounds, including the tripod. That's about a third of its predecessor. In a typical urban situation, often the only way to take out a hidden sniper is to use heavy artillery like a rocket, a mortar, or even an airstrike. Trouble is, with that kind of power, chances are it will destroy more than just the sniper. It's likely to take out the entire building, and in a city, that can mean higher collateral damage. But the XM307 has come up with a solution. One of the brilliant features of the XM307 it's the smart rounds it fires. It fires a new 25 millimeter airburst grenade. With the XM307's airburst round, you don't need to go through concrete. You can go over the top and blast everything away. We've set up a typical sniper scenario with two guys hiding behind a wall and firing through a window. Now what we want to do is fire one round through the window and just take out the guys inside. Air burst in here, blow these guys up, take them out so they're no longer a threat to your guys. And the room and the building is completely intact. Design specialist Mike Cutter is running today's demo. Now, I won't be using a live round, but with this training ammo, I'll get to see the amazing effects of this airburst munition. Taking it off safe. There to fire. Using the XM307 couldn't be easier. It's basically aim, laze, and fire. The laser rangefinder allows you to find your target and calculates the distance. It then programs the airburst round to detonate at a certain distance from the target. I've lazed the building. I know exactly how far it is. 
put one rhyme right through the window. Sorry, guys. See you later. There it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The 25 millimeter airburst round enters through the window and goes off at the precise program moment mid-air, taking out the snipers, but leaving the building intact. And just like that, they're gone. If these were live rounds, those mannequins would be full of holes. I mean, when I saw it go right through that window and then just go right off. Yep. Again, no collateral damage. We want to take enemy cover out of the picture. If they're hiding behind a vehicle, if they're hiding behind a wall, if they're down in a fighting hole, we still want to be able to reach out and touch them. But the XM-307 isn't just restricted to firing grenades. It has another trick up its sleeve, the ability to convert into a 50 caliber machine gun, the XM-312. Now I've heard that in two minutes, they can transform the XM-307 into the XM-312. Is that so? Maybe in about 153. 153? Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. Now I expect you to get it done. Give it to us, man. Here you go. Now, each gun is operated by two men. And this crew of Sergeant Eric Duncan and designer Mike Cutter are convinced they can beat the two-minute deadline. The transformation involves changing just four parts, basically everything that touches the round, including the bolt and barrel. 130. Once converted, the XM-312 fires 50 caliber rounds with the power to punch through lightly armored vehicles. <laughs> that was fantastic.